Today we are making five green recipes. Why green? Because green is the color of spring. Spring is a time when everything comes back to life after a long winter slumber. And also it is Earth Day on Friday and what a better way to celebrate than with beautiful, vibrant green recipes. So with that, let's get started. So first up, I thought we would make a fun breakfast recipe. We are going to make green pancakes, both sweet and savory. I'm gonna add some fresh herbs into our savory pancakes. So I just have some cilantro and some green onion, but let me show you the cilantro. This is from the last video that I did. And I just wanna show you guys how fresh it has stayed for more than a week. I think it's been like at least 10 days or so. Look at how fresh that looks. I mean, it looks like I just bought it. So if you're not doing this with your herbs, definitely give it a try if you want them washed and ready to use. They will last at least a couple weeks like this. Now, a lot of people ask me what I do with savory pancakes. I think that sweet pancakes are pretty obvious, but with savory pancakes, I like to use them in place of bread. So what I really like to do is to make a little breakfast sandwich. I usually do a little bit of hummus and then a folded just egg on there and then whatever kind of sandwich toppings you like. But I've also seen savory pancakes used in a lot of other ways. So if you guys have a favorite way to use them, let us know in the comments down below. The sweet version of these pancakes are basically the same as the savory ones with just the addition of some cinnamon, maple syrup, sugar, and vanilla extract. Now, if you batch prep your pancakes, the way I like to freeze them is by using a little piece of parchment paper to separate them, and that will make sure they don't get stuck together in the freezer. For lunch, we are going to make a green split pea soup. Even though it is spring, it's still a little bit chilly where I am, and some of you guys have mentioned it is still chilly where you are as well. So I thought it'd be nice to have a big pot of warm, comforting soup. For this soup, I'm just using some veggies that I already had batch prepped, including this onion, which was actually in the freezer. And of course, we're just doing a water saute with our onion and our garlic first. Now, if you wanted to keep this soup super green, you could definitely leave out the carrot here, but I do find that it adds such a nice flavor, so I didn't want to leave it out. Just adding a couple bay leaves, a sprig of thyme, which I also keep in the freezer, and our better than bouillon broth paste. Make sure you remove your bay leaves and your thyme before blending. And I'm also adding a couple drops of this liquid smoke, my secret ingredient, as well as some riced cauliflower and a huge handful of spinach. For our green hummus, I'm going to be using some frozen edamame and frozen peas. And since they were frozen, I'm just letting them defrost a bit in some warm water. And you can use any combo of beans you like here. I'm also going to add in some white beans. You could use chickpeas if you prefer. You could do all edamame or all peas. Just use whatever you've got or whatever is easiest to find at the store. dinner we are going to make pesto pizza so that it is green and we are going to do a bunch of fun green toppings as well. For our pizza crust I'm using this sprouted camu flour to make it a little bit healthier but of course feel free to use any flour that you like. Mm -hmm. 
and we're just setting this in a bowl to let it rise. Now I like to make my dough the day before, so usually after it's risen, I just pop it into the fridge overnight or till I'm ready to use it. But you definitely can make this pizza the same day as you make the dough. The pesto that I'm using is actually the same one that I made in this video. It is vegan, oil-free, and nut-free. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. Now I personally enjoy a thin style pizza crust and I think that this type of flour works really well for that, as well as the oat flour crust that I've made before. That one is also very, very thin. But if you prefer a traditional thicker style pizza crust, I might suggest using a different type of flour such as all purpose flour, or you could always do a store-bought pizza crust, especially if you want it to be very little effort. There are a lot of good options for pre-made ones. And lastly for dessert, we are going to make a mint chip milkshake. Now, don't let the color or the healthy ingredients fool you. This is honestly so delicious. It is super sweet and it really does taste like a milkshake. We are starting with some frozen riced cauliflower, three frozen bananas, a piece of raw zucchini, one and a half cups soy milk, one and a half cups water, one scoop of protein powder, or you can sub with dates for sweetness, a couple drops of peppermint extract, as well as a handful of fresh mint, and one large handful of kale. Now for the chip portion of this mint chip milkshake, you can use something like cacao nibs, or of course you can use vegan chocolate chips. Now, if you found yourself inspired by any of these spring green recipes, let me know which one you're going to make in the comments. And of course, if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful at all, don't forget to hit the like button down below. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.